uh, start the class and uh, i already said the two type of uh, scopes are the scope means the uh, lifetime of the variable okay two type of uh, scope of the variable are there one is global another one is local scope you can see the definition in this global scope means wherever in the program that is any part of the program the variable can be accessed okay so we can access the variable in any part of the program that is uh, global scope that we have seen already and one more thing is local scope local scope means within the function only we can able to access that uh, variable that type of variable if the variable is declared inside the function then its scope is inside the function only outside the function is about to use the variable means it cannot accessible it is not accessible okay that type of that type of variables are called as local scope that is local variable okay so we have see the uh, let me see the same example program which we dealt in yesterday's uh, thing also on that i'll share the screen okay here you can uh, let me do the program and some of the students having the doubt yesterday we have seen now for example we are defining the function i'm just giving a value a equal to 10 <coughs> yesterday program do you have any doubt or shall we go for it hello no doubt sir okay so i will just okay so i'm just giving uh calling on function let me complete it okay a equal one minute i'm just uh, typing the program so here i'm defining the same function so now if i execute this uh, now i will ask some question if i execute this program means what will be the output can you say the output a value 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 
in 10th line in 10th line we are asking to print the key 50 50 very good yes if you run this means you can understand 10 50 55 can you all understand this uh, concept yes one minute okay okay did you understood all uh, some of the students will ask the doubt yes please sir if a plus is equal to 5 is given before print statement means what that is you are saying uh, suppose after a equal to a, a into 5 then afterwards a plus equal to 5 you are asking yes sir then output will be 10 50 55 55 sir yeah yes yes okay sir. yes correct only okay did you understand now i am just using another one okay so you see this now what will be the value error sir output no 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 why it is i mean yes sir <laughs> okay now what will be the output 10 55 10 55 5 no how it is 5 man again so 10 5 10 sir 10 5 10 sir you are 25 10 sir yes yes 10 25 10 sir yes you can see the main function whenever we are we want to execute the program we should start from the main function you can see the seventh line a equal to 10 we ask to print the a value 10 will be get printed then ninth line we are calling the scope function in the scope function another variable is there. that that a is different that is not global a that is local variable that value is 5 we are making changes over the value that is the local a variable okay a equal to a into 5 means 5 into 5 25 so print a means 25 will print after that what will happen a plus equal to 5 means 25 plus 5 what is the thing 30 but we ask to only print 25 okay then in 10th line come to 10th line print a according to 10th line which is a which a value will be referred 5 no 10 sir global 10 asking according 10, to 10th line yes global a value will be referred good that is correct sir did you understand oh, yes yes pa in case if i take that a is equal to 5 it will print out error only no sir and i didn't get it which line i am erasing the second line in the function i inside the function ah uh, yes sir second line definitely, def yes definitely it will show the error for example i didn't declare the value you know what is the a value i didn't define so without defining the local variable how i can use it a equal to a into 5 means what is a i didn't say no for example if i remove the second line mean then what is a value the inside the function the function doesn't know what is a okay no that's why it will show error a is not defined but before it is assigned like this i will show the example it will show the error now i am making it the command line you can see this it will show the error local variable a reference before assignment that is we didn't assign any value to the local a that is inside the function but what we are using a equal to a into 5 we are as we are ma making the manipulation we are making the changes over the data okay but what is a value it is not defined no that's why it's showing the error let you go to the program you can understand can you can you understand if i make the yes, second sir. line is not means okay good now what will be the output output of this 10, program 25 30 10 hmm. hmm. very good 10 25 30 10 But, uh, students please practice this type of things okay again they will confuse uh, this type of uh, program only as what is the you should know the difference between global a and uh, local a i mean global variable and local variable that's the uh, our aim okay so if you run this means as you said it will come 10 25 30 again 10 okay so good you can under, you understood this one so this is the concept of local and global variable okay till we go to the slide and uh, have you all cleared about this program local uh, variable and global variable yes sir okay anybody having any doubt on this local and global variables no sir okay no okay, very good. okay let me go to the slide some questions are there you can uh, some example program that's why we have seen yesterday okay please we see the example program which i projected on the screen here yesterday we have seen the same thing okay l and b are global variable a is the local variable next you can see 
a is not accessible they are saying a is not accessible here because it is declared in function that is inside the function you can see in the function area is a function inside we are declaring a if i supposed to use the a variable outside the function means it is not accessible what is the reason can you say what is the reason the question one see in this slide you can see a is one variable where it is declared a is one variable no where it is declared inside the function inside the function and you can see in the outside main program a print of area of rectangle equal to a we ask to print a it is not printing what is the reason that's a question a is not why defined. not a, a that's why a is not defined it is defined where it is defined i mean where it is where the a variable a is defined and never inside the function uh, inside the function it is defined but we are asking to print then the print outside the function so a is a what local variable so okay. local cannot be accessed outside the function that's the concept okay so what is the reason for that the question will be asked they will give on program they will ask the output or what they will ask your justification why it is not uh, what may be the output why it is showing error like the type of question will be asked in the board okay so let me see one more example here you can see L equal to please come to the main program pa. main program main program means L equal to int of input of enter length we are getting and enter breadth also we are getting L and B where the variable receives the values okay then A R equal to area of L comma B area we are calling on function we are passing the two para arguments L and B and it will be calculated and A value will be stored return A the function is returning the A value that will be stored in A R okay. Now we are calling another function, show area function. Okay, in show area function, we are asking to print the AR. It is accessible or not? Can you say it is accessible yes, or not? It, yes, sir, it is a global variable. For example, L value also one, B value also one. What may be the output of the program? Yeah, one, sir. One. One area plus area one circle is equal to one. How the AR is accessible inside the function? Global variable, sir, can be accessed anywhere. Very good, very good. As you said, global variable can access anywhere in the program. Any part of the program, we can access the global variable. But local variable, we cannot access outside the function. Okay, function definition. Okay, that's the concept. If you want to make changes over the global variable, means then we need to call the variable. We need to use the variable by using the keyword global. Okay global then variable name then we can make the changes over the way the changes will be permanently permanently affect the variable which is defined outside the main that is outside the function or the main function okay now you can see they are saying variable ar is accessible in function show case, show area function because it's having a global scope global scope means it have global it's a global variable its lifetime is till the end of the program wherever we can access it okay now you can see one more example see this example very clearly okay uh, it's okay it's a big program i will change the screen okay. okay now you can able to see this answer equal to one then we are currently we are using the while loop and first number second number we are asking and we are getting the things okay here if you come to the program uh, i mean one minute, one minute. Count equal to zero. First line you can see. Count equal to zero. Before that, we are declaring one variable. Count is what type of variable? Local or global? Global variables. Sorry? Global variables. Global variable. Good. So, count is a global variable. If you want to use the global variable, that's why I'm coming to tell. So, inside definition, add, add, sub, multiplication, division, they are going to do an arithmetic program. And global count. So global count means if you want to access the variable, if you want to make changes over the value means then we should use the global keyword. Okay, that's why they are saying the declaration global count is necessary for using global variable in function. Otherwise, error will come. That last program we have seen get the error, no same error. Local variable A is the reference before assignment like that we got no. The same type of will come. So we should use the global keyword. Okay.
and let me go to the another slide lifetime of the variable okay you can see this what is lifetime means global variable lifetime is till the execution of the program okay whenever till once the uh, program is completed till that variable will be alive okay but in local variable means only the function whenever the function is called that time only it life it will get the life that is which one the variable will get the life once the function is completed with task means after that it doesn't know what the variable okay the variable value will be erased okay that is the lifetime of the variable or another name scope of the variable okay let me go for the another one important thing that is namespace namespace or else they are saying name resolution okay namespace is a concept okay how this variable can are left referred means one rule is there you can see leg p rule okay local so in enclosing environment global then what is the last one built in environment okay this is the name how the variable will be variable will be accessed in the function for example whenever we are accessing a function whenever we are accessing any program we are executing a program first it will check whether it is local variable or not i think student today understand what i am saying or not yes sir okay that is what i am coming to tell you can see the operator precedent you can you remember the operator precedent first parenthesis second exponential third one is but like like first one pre, uh, pre, precedent is there priority is there operator priority on the table column also we have seen in the book can you recall that hello no in first chapter or second chapter we have seen this operator pre precedent yes sir how the expression will be evaluated first one parenthesis will be the first order like that here like that here one order is there for the variable priority okay the variable will be which variable will be having the more priority means first local variable okay then environment in closing environment variable means inside the uh, for example a function inside another function is there so the inside function or inside for loop or inside condition uh, compound statement is a enclosed variable okay that is this concept will be useful in the class okay class and object and concept is there but uh, it is not in your syllabus okay it will check whether it is inside the local means inside the function closed environment means inside the class actually it is another one concept okay and the third one is you know global variable outside the function or outside the general outside the class okay that is called global variable global environment built in environment for example pi value and all it's built in environment for example if you want to access the pi value which one we need to do we need to import a module which module math module yes likewise some values are defined predefined in the python itself okay that variables are all it is predefined it is inbuilt in grammar okay that so in this order only the variable will be accessed okay first one that is you can see leg p rule okay local enclosed environment global environment and inbuilt built in ingram okay the name space means the name of the variable will be accessed can you understand this one be able to understood how the variable will be accessed in the program this is the concept should you all get this okay. okay okay let me go to yesterday we have seen the same thing what may be the output can you say for this one for this one only we have uh, typed that and let me go for our i mean we went for our own program what may be the output for this program very good very good six error hundred hundred what about this one hundred hundred this check 
num equal to hundred print num hundred will be print hundred error yes. sir yes definitely it will show the error because the value is not defined okay that's the thing okay good okay what will be this uh, output can you say that can you explain this program enter the first number we got second number we got and we are calling the function check function it will check number one greater than number two whether the number one number two is referenceable inside the function yes sir why i mean reason global is area. very good because it is n uh, num1 and num2 are global variable so we can check num1 greater than for example they enter the number 20 and 10 okay so don't uh, yeah 20 greater than 10 it's taking condition true condition true means it will print number one that is num1 num1 means its value is 20 it will be get filtered okay in function also we can access the uh, global variable in order to check for checking purpose we no need to use the global global keyword that's why i'm coming to tell if you want to make any changes in the yeah. value mean then only we have to use the keyword global otherwise we no need to use the keyword global okay here you can see in the function we are asking to check that is number one or number two we are checking that we are comparing it we can do whatever manipulation for example uh, he, uh, in our program number three equal to number one then we can make changes over the number three there is no necessity to use the global okay did you understand if you want to make changes any anything in the global variable means then inside the function we should use the keyword global okay that's the concept okay let me go to the uh, next topic that is uh, mutable and immutable that's one thing immutable and mutable concept how to pass the so far we passing what we can pass the variable we can pass the values directly in the function right so how to pass a list you can see how to pass this thing how to pass your dictionary means how to pass a tuple this are all mutable and immutable concept this is the last concept in the function chapter part okay so let me go for one program then you can easily understand before we are going to the slide wait a minute then i will just type for example we are going first i will use the thing thing is mutable or immutable immutable sir immutable thing is immutable we cannot change it yes yes you said we can use this thing we can pass this thing then we can make over any changes that is we can splicing we can replicating we can concatenation in the function okay that only we can use for example list is what type of data that is mutable data types mutable data type we can easily change it uh, let me go for the list that will be easy to understand so i'm just creating a list l equal to So it is a list that afterwards I'm just calling a function. Just I'm naming it uh, mutable. So just a use the defined function. I'm calling the function. Then afterwards, first I'm printing the list. Print l. Then afterwards also I'm using the same thing. Print l. Okay. Now I'm going to define a function def mutable. You can also say man. Uh, students, you can also say so I'm just passing you an argument. What type of argument I am passing here? Question argument only, but what what is the data type of the argument? List. List. So it is a we are passing a list from one function to another function that is uh, i mean uh, we are passing to a call statement one list to the parameter okay here i can give another name also. for better understanding i will go with one example then you can understand better okay now i'm just using print l so i'm just printing the list in out inside the function afterwards i'm just changing yeah oh, sorry l of I am changing the data L of 0 equal to, I am assigning value to it, equal to 5. 
okay then return oh it doesn't return anything so that's why i'm just leaving it okay now let i will like, explain this program so it here the main error. how it will produce error can you see let me check it yes please sir l is a global we can't change inside the function hmm. yes good question let i will use it you can get it name mutable is oh i think i made some changes in the function name is correct only okay let i will use it we no need to use let i will check it sir yes spelling mistake sir m u t a b l e o oh, i use one more l is there <laughs> yes yes okay okay then i will make it as a command line that will execute it hmm. now i will show that output you can see the oh, sorry i no need to use because it is mutable data type. that's why i coming to tell here i am using list come to the main program fifth line l is the list it contains 1 2 3 4 5 this are all elements of the list okay then i am uh, fifth line i am printing the list the list will be printed as it is we defined in the fifth line and the seventh line we are calling one function mutable function the name is function name is mutable so i am passing a list as a argument okay then the function will be called where the function is defined at first line it is defined def mutable l so here one more uh, list is ready it is the variable is there it will receive the argument there is one parameter is there l that name also l okay then afterwards i am printing the l okay that is the list i am printing afterwards in the third line you can see l of 0 equal to 5 i am changing this because this is mutable so that's why i am changing the first element of the list instead of 1 i am giving i am reassigning another one value to it so that is 5 or whatever value okay so i am giving the 5 okay then afterwards it is a what type of function whether it is void function or invite function invite function that is non void non void function void is it void function how you are saying whether it is returning anything to the call statement no sir no it is it doesn't return anything that's why it is a void function but even though it is automatically referring the value because so far you may have the doubt the last class i mean last example program a equal to 10 sir if you are supposed to make the changes over the a you, you said that you should use the global variable because the integer, integer is what type of data that is mutable or immutable that is mute it is mutable or immutable mm -hmm. integer is mutable yeah. integer is mutable yeah, how you immutable. are saying man very good immutable integers are immutable integer or float whatever the type the numbers are immutable data type so that's why we cannot able to change it but here we are passing a list okay list is mutable that's why without using the global keyword we will make the changes over it now i make the changes over in the third line i mean inside the function afterwards in the eighth line you can check uh, what is the thing i am printing the new list i mean updated list okay then it's printing 5 comma 2 comma uh, 3 4 5 like this it's printing you can see the output also can you understand this concept mutable data type and immutable data type how to pass the argument can you understood yes sir hello okay so if you are passing any mutable data type you no need to worry about the global thing global concepts and all okay that's why how to pass a mutable data type how to pass an immutable data type suppose if i pass a tuple whether this operation will be success no sir no because tuple is immutable as you know that okay so that's why we cannot make any changes over the tuple suppose if i make the string i mean if i pass the string no, i can sir. do what replication i can do concatenation we can do but if i want to change any over the string is it is not certainly it is not that's why because string is a immutable data type okay dictionary if i pass a dictionary if i want to change any value means is it possible inside the yes, function sir, possible yes, sir. possible yes, sir. Yes. Okay. This is the concept. Can you understood this? Uh, I mean, uh, this program. Sir. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir, yes, you can ask. Sir. Okay. Okay. So I mean, the time is going to up. Tomorrow we will see about. The, I mean, today is the last day. No, it's Thursday. Yes. 
today i will give certain homework in the function okay please complete that also do you have any any doubt in this session no doubt sir